Hello everyone, welcome back to another video, and today we're going to be talking about and today we're going to be talking about the timeline of the Earth. So today we are going to form the Earth for this. So, so billions of years ago, the Earth started out as a single particle. Yeah, the Earth had started out a single particle. And we are going to collide more asteroids into this, which there is more in more theories about the formation of the Earth. But today we're just. But today we are going to. But today we're going to use the most. Uh, agreed on method which is she hug which is the collisions which which still goes on today which that oh which that goes yeah which goes on today which that makes most sense so the earth has done it out a single particle and we we're gonna watch over its mass started out as a single particle as soon as the first one hit it had increased its spinach more and more particles this more and more particles collided together but I gotta lock on to this okay so more and more particles to started to to collide into it and where is it oh yeah so more and more particles colliding colliding into the asteroid phase which which more and more they collide they Start creating a sphere. Uh, they start creating the sphere because the the gravitational pull. And the bigger it can, wait. The the bigger it goes, the bigger. Uh, the bigger it goes, the stronger is gravitational pull, same as every single object in the solar system, including the huge universe as well. So more and more asteroids started colliding into to the Earth, creating giant c c collisions. Which we don't see it now is that yeah, is is that the Earth is that the Earth was a molten rock, and now we're seeing the sphere. Wait, the mass are we are? Okay, we are almost there. Thermal energy, which which just which this ice isn't supposed to be here. Oh well. Uh, how about Charcleo? It is almost at the size where he can eat different objects uh, other than asteroids. So more and more c c collisions had created a greenhouse. Uh, had created a greenhouse effect. Which the greenhouse effect created such and such had created such and such collisions. Which at this point today, uh, as you see, is that there's life. And you'll see what causes that life at the end of, 
uh, at the end of the video. So, uh, so the Earth was a molten ball of rock. No life could live on it. Not even bacteria. It, it didn't have the right particles for life to to live in. It, it didn't have the right energy. Ah, here is when we are starting to see the heat. Okay. So, more and more collisions went on, which, which it is almost at the size where it, it can eat Sedna. Which, more and more collisions, these collisions never stopped. In reality, the collisions didn't go this far. Larger and larger objects started colliding into it, making uh, making its growth faster and faster and faster. As you see, as you see to today, uh, how we know the um, timeline of the Earth is the um, death. It is the um, death of the um, is is the death of the um, is the death uh, of the um, surface. So, absolute giant collisions had created this, which it can now eat Senna. It was almost. It was almost at the size where we can. That we can. Oh, okay. So now we're we're starting to uh, see the atmosphere. As you see back in the day, this is what the atmosphere looked like. Not even. <sighs> Not even of what it looks like today. If that is water, it will evaporate. Which, it is 2.9 size of the moon. It, it is almost at its main size. Which now, it could eat Pluto. Bigger and bigger collisions with bigger and bigger objects was making it to its size. So it's making the Earth to its size today. Which we're doing this to speed up the process, and I have no reason why it says that. So. So, like, pretty much at every corner was light. Every single corner. Which more and more collisions had made the Earth bigger and bigger and bigger. And now we can collide it with Ganymede. One of the, large, uh, the largest moon in the solar system. Which the Earth was giant. It was, it was similar. Uh, its heat was it's just similar to Venus today. I don't know you uh, knew this, but Venus is actually the hottest system. Uh, it is actually the hottest planet in the solar system. Okay, so more and more collisions until the Earth finally got to the correct size. Uh, 
as the earth became to cool down through millions and millions of years at some point the object ruins the earth's course which affects everyone e e even today so where it okay here's Mars we will rename Mars to Thea it's because that was the name of the planet that had hit us okay let's rename it Thea Thea is now here which we are going to change its velocity instead going head on to earth oh all right okay so it had created a ring of debris that had that had caused the existence of the moon which it was very very close today it was very very close a long long time ago okay guys that's it for today's video of the of the civil alliance make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. Wait. Oh, I forgot something. As through more and more and more years, the moon spun around it. Life appeared. Life making the atmosphere of the turn blue. Okay, so where is it? The atmosphere. Come on, where is it? Okay. Come on, where's the atmosphere? If anyone knows where the atmosphere is, please tell me. Ah, here it is. Okay, so the Earth would be one Earth. As you okay so asteroids and asteroids collided uh, onto the earth made the whole planet an ocean well we aren't gonna get there yet at this point bacteria wait no oh yeah After it started colliding and colliding between the Earth, making it to have making the Earth to have making the entire earth covered with water which which a giant process of life had went on and we are finally here today where humanity takes over the earth for advancement. Japan, China, 
humanity has colonized the world. Alright, guys. That is it for today's video. Make sure you you like and subscribe. And make sure you hit that notification bell. And we'll see you next time.